Onimesh cut a pizza into equal slices. He ate some of the slices. After he was finished, there were three slices of pizza left on the table. Onimesh realized the amount of pizza he had eaten was equivalent to three-fourths of the whole pizza plus three-fourths of a slice. How many slices was the pizza cut into? How many slices did Onimesh eat? It is a difficult problem. Um, read the problem a couple of times and write down the question uh, so that you can follow the solution. We are gonna, well, let's highlight the main parts of the question. Uh, Onimesh cut the pizza into a certain number of slices and he ate some of those slices, three, four, five, we don't know, and there were, there were three slices left. He realized what he ate, however many slices he ate. It was equivalent to three-fourths of the whole pizza plus three-fourths of a slice. So we're going to do this problem visually. So let's take a look at the visual solution. Okay, these are his three slices. And here the ordering matters. The question, if you read the question, it says um, what he ate was equivalent to three-fourths of the whole pizza plus three-fourths of a slice. I'm going to take that three-fourths of a slice and put it back. So what we have here is, well, let me erase everything. What we have here is the three slices he had left plus the three-fourths of a slice that he ate. And now if you read the question once again, you would realize what's missing is three-fourths of the pizza. Well, if this is three-fourths of the pizza that's missing, this has to be one-fourth of the pizza. Onimesh is three slices that were left over plus three-fourths of a slice. That must be one-fourth of the pizza. And you really want to get this. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand uh, what we do next. If this is one-fourth, if this is one-fourth, I need to find how many, altogether how many slices he had. So I'm going to do two-fourths. This is two-fourths, which is half. Then I need to find three-fourths. And then I need to find four-fourths, or one whole. So this was his whole pizza. Four-fourths or one whole. Now, uh, it does make sense, but let's see. You're wondering the slices were all cut in, you know, in, in chunks, and he really didn't have parts of a slice. So what is really going on? What I can do is I can take these three and put them right here. That's what I'm going to do. So let's erase everything. And do what we just suggested. So essentially my answer is there were 15 slices. He cut the pizza into 15 slices. And if you want to really understand the problem, you can think about it this way once you have the solution. Um, take a look at this. He ate three-fourths of the whole pizza. Well, that would mean that would mean he ate three-fourths of these slices, which would be this much. Then he ate three-fourths of the whole pizza. These, these are three-fourths, then he must have eaten three-fourths would mean this, 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 this. So that would be what I just labeled in this red rectangle plus these marks, that's three-fourths of all the pizzas. Plus he ate three-fourths of one pizza. Let's use green for this one. Plus he ate three-fourths of one pizza. That would mean this. And if he really did that, he would be left with three slices. So it works out. Now what we're going to do, we're going to look at the same problem algebraically. And some, some of us like algebra, some of us like visual, some of us like to do these things visually. So let's take a look at the problem or the solution to the question algebraically. Uh, I hope you still have the question in front of you. We're going to assume originally he cut the pizza into n slices and could be five, six, seven. It's probably larger than three because he had three slices, slices left over. 
and that tells me each slice must be one nth of the pizza. Each slice would represent one nth of the pizza, one over n. And the question says, we're going to now use these to write our equation. The question says that what he ate was was well if he was left with three slices he must have eaten n minus three slices so if you take the number of slices he ate div divided by I'm sorry if you take the number of slices he ate that's n minus three divided by n that tells you the pizzas that he ate in terms of n and as a part of one whole pizza. That should equal three-fourths of the whole pizza plus three-fourths of a slice. The, on the right hand side what I have here is three-fourths of a whole pizza plus three-fourths of a slice. On the left hand side I have what he ate in terms of n. This should equal each other and what I need to do now is solve this equation which is not very difficult I'm gonna use it I'm gonna solve this equation on the next slide here's the solution um, to the equation I'm gonna 3 times 1 is equal to 3 4 times n is equal to 4 that's the only modification I made here and now if you add the right hand side fractions you're gonna get 3n plus 3 over 4n if you cross multiply, you're going to get this line 4n times n minus 3 is equal to n times 3n plus 3. Distribute 4n over n minus 3 and n over 3n plus 3. You're going to get 4n squared minus 12n on the left hand side, 3n squared plus 3n on the right hand side. Then you're going to move the n squares on the same side and 12n on the other side with 3n, and you're going to get n squared is equal to 15n. Then I'm going to divide both sides by n and I'm going to get n is equal to 15. There were 15 slices. Now it's okay to divide by n because n cannot be 0 because n is larger than 3.